Um, the target, if Kotoko win this league, of course, it's going to play in Africa. And that, that's why we make it a point to show the CAF Champions League every season. So you look at the level at which these guys are playing. So when our clubs go there, you know that that's the level you need to live up to. Um, defending champions are Ali. They were in action. They took on Mamelodi Sundowns, winners in 2016. Um, and it wasn't a game that went too well for the defending champions of Ali. It was a game they played at home and somehow they lost by a goal to nil. Um, yeah, uh, look, this was a game that it was always going to be tough. Um, this is Pizzo against his former team. Um, they know him, he knows them, so it was going to be that um, very tense uh, tactical battle. And once the first half ended goalless, considering how uh, Ali dominated in terms of chances and they were not able to pick it, uh, put the ball in the back of the net. When it, things go like that, you can just tell that the opposition will have that one chance. And um, Ali just kept on missing opportunity after opportunity. You were just waiting for sound downs, one opportunity. And when it came, um, it was thumbed into the back of the net. Look, look at the finish. This is a look ruthless the finish. Of that finish. Roof, roof of the net. There's no chance, absolutely no chance for the goalkeeper. And, uh, it's, and it's a very interesting... It's a very interesting game with a lot of sap plots. So Daniel mentioned one of them uh, being Pizzo Mosimani coming up against his former class Sundowns, a team he won the Champions League with before moving to Ali, um, who are defending champions. But there was also Pesci Tao yeah. uh, mm -hmm. in there playing for uh, Al Ali. And they bought him for a lot of money. And we talk about our clubs wanting to be at the top. I mean, it's, this is a player who was playing in the Premier League. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know. Yeah, in the English Premier League. And he was a Sundowns player, I believe, yeah, yeah. before he went to, to England. Went to England. Yeah. Very interesting. Um, <laughs> what about Wida at Casablanca? Well, they knocked out Haas in, uh, uh, in the early stages of the qualifiers. Uh, they took on Zamalek, and they absolutely pummeled the White Knights by three goals to one. Zizou. Fantastic opener. The uh, that is a brilliant field. first goal. This guy's technique is just next level. This is fantastic. You know, and we talk about, look at that. I mean, and this is the quality that we will be competing against. This is the quality that has a folk try to compete against. And then chops 10-2 away from home. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, not, not just the football, the quality of the facilities. Yeah, nobody's that, shouting the pitch, the pitch, the pitch. Like, exactly. And, and you can tell there's that support. Generally, the, the country seems to be in favor of such a competition. People love it over there. So it's not too much of a surprise that they are performing on the stage as well as delivering quality football. It's, it's good to watch. I mean, I would watch this every, every week just yeah. because the quality is just solid. Yeah, so that's that. Look at that. Look at the absolute delirium. Um, <laughs> from the way that players. Um, and this is the quality that we have to deal with if we want to go and play in Africa every single season. So every week we make it a point to show you. But let me take you through the group stages, the groups now after match week three and show you what the standings look like. So there you see, Mamelodi Sundowns in group eight, looking very comfortable, sitting pretty, seven points. That's two wins and a draw for them, still undefeated. al of Sudan, Al Ali, the defending champions, Risking not qualifying to the round of 16. They have just one point after two matches. Of course, they didn't play on the opening weekend. Um, but this is not good, nonetheless. Al-Hilal of Sudan, two teams from Sudan in the same group as well. Let's go to Group B uh, as well. Uh, Moroccan team, Raja Sablana, conflict top. Nine out of nine. That's maximum points. Amazulu have six points. ES uh, Tief of Algeria with three points. Horoya of Guinea. Zero points at this point. Um, group C, uh, ES Tunis. Um, that's Esperance. They have five points. Uh, Buluzdad also have five. Uh, ESS of Tunisia with three. Galaxy of Botswana. It's a team from Botswana in the group stages of the Cup Champions League. So they show some respect. And your Ghanaian team is being in the group stages of the Cup Champions League. For God knows how long. Uh, let's go to Group D now. Uh, there you see two Angolan teams in this group. One of them is comfortably top. The other one is languishing in the bottom. Um, Atletico Petroleos, all right, or like we we like to say in English, Petro Atletico. Mm -hmm. They are top with seven points. With that, Casablanca, you saw them beating 
Zamalek there. They have six points. Zamalek have two. No win in three. And uh, Esperanca of Angola with just the one point as well. All right, so that's the lowdown from the Ghana Premier League and the CAF Champions League. We will take a very short break. When we come back, I'll read some of your messages and we take you straight to Europe. Don't go anywhere.